Hey guys, I know I haven't uploaded a video in a while. It's been about 3-4 months, and I guess I owe you guys a little explanation. It's been a long 3-4 months, actually, since the last time I uploaded a video. I was doing a lot of schoolwork and things like that around those times. I know it, it's kind of hard to say, but, you know, YouTube is just a hobby, and school definitely comes first. And, you know, there are other great YouTubers to watch, and that's fine as well. Um, but recently, as of January, my friend Cookie showed me... Uh, a little bit of 6v6 TF2 competitive, and since then I've been almost playing only that. It's actually really fun. Before I used to be really into Highlander, and the difference between both, I mean, I, I find 6v6 is a little bit more fun, it's a lot more competitive, and it's less, I don't know, quote unquote, boring. It, I find Highlander is a little bit stale, maybe in general, but you know, both have their ups and downs, and Highlander is still definitely fun for those who only play Highlander. I mean, if you don't like playing Scout, Soldier, Demo, and Medic, I mean, you have to obviously play Highlander. It's still it's still pretty fun. Uh, in 6v6, I like to play Scout a lot. I play a little bit of Demo, but that's about it. Medic's, Medic's really fun too, but I spend the majority of my time playing Scout because I find it's, it, it's really fun in general. Um, this gameplay here is, uh, I think it was an open lobby, which... I don't know, I just queued up for when I joined, and um, I only have the two first rounds uploaded because past the two first ones, the enemy team started throwing, and that's really dumb. Like, it was 1-1, one, one, and then the other the enemy team started rolling like cow mangler to mid, and like engineers to mid, and just, they started rolling demo knights, and that really sucks in general. I mean, when I want to play 6v6, I don't expect that kind of garbage, but, you know, it's not really competitive matches, so you kind of have to expect that. But, um, in general, I've taken a liking to 6v6, honestly. All, I'm, all I do is play with my friends, play some pugs, some lobbies, some sometimes some scrims and some competitive matches. Because of my time restraints and school and all that, again, I only play backup on a a UGC Steel team. Like It's just a bunch of friends that got together to play their first season of, of, um, of sixes in UGC. But maybe next season, if I have enough time, uh, we might move on to ESCA. Because, I don't know, UGC, it's... it's I don't know. I really don't like the attitude around there and all the the admins. I just don't like those people in general. I mean, we'll see. I heard ESA is a little bit harder, but maybe if we train a lot for you know the next coming months, we might have a little chance in ESA. I mean, it could be fun. I might I might uh, record all those matches and put them on YouTube if they're not a disaster. You know, like last time, uh, those last UGC matches when I played Soldier, those were like a disaster. I admit I had no idea what I was doing, and I still pretty much have no idea what I'm doing as a scout here. Um, I mean, this lobby, this match, this pug, I guess, it wasn't half bad, but, you know, I still suck shit at scout. I really have to get some practice on my aim and stuff like that. I've been streaming uh, lobbies quite a lot, and pugs and stuff like that, so um, if you just hang around the forums and stuff, I put my, my channel quite often. And I'm, I'm just really trying to get better as scout. Um, I've been doing MG a lot and things like that. I, I don't consider myself the worst scout in the world, but obviously not on, you know, open level. I have to... Like open being ESA open. I have to practice a little bit before maybe going into open, but that you know it's practice makes perfect and things like that. As for the rest of this match, I'm gonna attempt to analyze at least what went good and what went wrong with our team. Uh, I know uh, during the first match we did pretty good, like the first mid fight. I mean we did pretty good. I did at least what I had to do. It means you know focus down the enemies, prevent them from getting the high ground, especially on this map which is uh, CP Snake Water. It's a it's a pretty good map for jumping soldiers and scouts. Uh, especially on midpoint, however, chokes not very good for scouts because you know you're normally cornered against soldiers and stuff like that. And there, I took the opportunity to get their medic, which was a good pick. And their demo, I don't know what the hell he was doing there in the corner. He was just, I don't know, standing there. And if you're wondering, uh, by the way, about my HUD, I did change again from uh, my last HUD, which was a the recent community HUD, and this is a modified version of the community slash flame hood it's um and it, and it uses the crosshairs and configs that justin a uh invite scout uses he sent me them over actually he sent them over to my friend and he sent me them over and i mean it looks pretty good i like the crosshair and stuff like that i'm, I'm i like to mess around with with huds and things like that i've liked uh on pud it's pretty nice as well and you just got to get some practice with you know what you're doing and I don't know, I just really need to work on my aim and things like that. And here, actually, we popped a little bit early. I don't know what the hell was going on. I think we do get their medic, or at least their demo, yeah. And our point, our team is stacking this point, and I believe this first match went it went pretty well. Like, both teams were pretty balanced. Our, our medic had no mic, which is kind of, you know, I guess, expected in, you know, not scrims and matches and stuff like that. But, you know... 
But, you know, at least I know the medic. He's a pretty cool guy. Like, he was an SR mod. Well, actually, he still is a, a Steam Rep mod with me. I've taken a little break, actually, from doing all this Steam Rep and trading stuff. Honestly, like, what I've been doing right now is just focusing on selling all my hats. I'm just getting out of the trading scene in general. Like, you know, it, it was fun while it lasted. I made some, some, I don't know, not some good profit, but, you know, I like to trade for fun. And it's, trading it used to be a, a lot more fun, and I used to dedicate a lot of time to it, but not many more really now i just mainly like nine percent of the time i just play um s competitive lobbies and sometimes highlander with my friends and stuff like that but yeah i'm selling all my hats on outpost if ever you're interested in some of them I, they're going for under market value right now i mean i looked on outpost and to see what everything else was selling at and i took like one or two buds off the price just you know to be fair i'm not like a huge like and i won't use the word jew but i will to like overprice stuff like that and i mean if you look at what trading is nowadays it's like people buying quick sells for 99 percent off and selling those unusuals for like 200 percent and that's complete garbage that's basically what trading become and it's not fun anymore like all you do is see these people that go on servers and spam outposts or buying quick sells 80 percent off and people offer them like burning hats for like three buds and like no the best i pay is one bud because <laughs> Anyways, if I'm going to go back to analyzing this mid-fight here, this one went pretty badly, actually. I took a sticky at the top there because I I believe I was a little bit too eager, but I guess the demo analyzed what we did last round, which we went on top. And they're, at least, I denied their scouts from getting on, on top of here. And their soldiers, I don't know what the hell they were doing. They were kind of jumping, and they're playing a little bit in retreat, so me and this other scout are going to go on the demo. And that was a, a good pick there. Without their demo, they can't really push up, and... Um, Unfortunately, since our two scouts went on um, on that guy, we we didn't get any we didn't have any flank protection. So, and we had that soldier out, out there, but he didn't kill any of our team at least. And now everyone's rolling onto the second point. I guess my positioning wasn't the best here. I should have been guarding with the demo, but I don't know I don't know where he went. And uh, actually, no, he was right behind us. Uh, but now that I think about it, also um, I'm kind of interested in what kind of you know videos I should be putting out. Um, I might. Like release kind of like this, all my all my quote unquote good uh, lobbies and pugs and stuff like that, or even not good. I mean, so people see that you know everyone fails sometimes, me especially, and you know everyone needs practice and stuff like that to critique gameplay and, and just things like that. I've tried to you know as much play with uh, like current open and IM players to try and you know get a little bit a little better hang of the game like. I believe our UGC team is being coached. Well, not not that I played it. I played like one round because uh, I, I just don't have time. But that round was pretty good. We have a an IM player, Pyro, who is coaching our team, and he's a really nice guy. Like we, he gets you know good help from him, and you know it's really fun to have just people like that who are willing to you know help support I guess new teams and stuff like that. And if for people who want to get really into try competitive 6v6 you can either um go to newbie mixes that are hosted on saturdays and sundays and fridays sometimes depending on uh when they're hosted or go to tf2 mix ircs and just play lobbies and stuff like that we we like to um, in our in our mumble like the af2 mumble we like to do little very low level pugs like iron level pugs and stuff like that just the people that don't really know how to play and we like to all play together and stuff like that so just if you want to come along and you're like a, a new player to 6v6 or even Highlander, we do Highlander sometimes, just pop, say hello in the mumble and normally on the weekends it's like, got like 50 people in there, well no, like 40 people in there, and uh, it, it's a lot of fun, like, if you just want to pop in and say hello, uh, everyone's friendly there, except for a couple who I will not name. Anyways, getting back on topic here, I take down that scout and we're gonna go after that demo, but here I believe is where I take a pipe to the face, yeah, and that demo escapes miraculously with 8 health, and I don't know where our other scout was at the time, but he should have went after him, but, you know, it's fine. And I, this is spectating our medic here, and I believe he's gonna get taken down by that scout, he must have been typing something. You know, it's not the end of the world in the lobby and things like that, but, you know, if you're playing medic, normally you get people yelling at you, but it's not really your fault if you die, it's mainly your team, so if you like to yell at people and blame them for dying, I guess you should play medic, but... You know, medic is a lot of fun. I like to play medic sometimes. Um, but it's it's actually pretty stressful because you have to always maintain your Uber and know exactly when to push. But it's a lot of fun. Just all these classes are a lot of fun. Probably my least favorite is mm, maybe pocket soldier. It's it's pretty boring. All you have to do is well, it's not boring, but all you have to do is stick with the medic and you have to be really good. And I'm not a very good soldier in general, so uh, I normally get destroyed. And um, 
this play here was probably maybe a little too audacious. Like, I tried to take down their medic 3v1, and I didn't know where the other scout was. I Maybe he could have backed me up, but we had absolutely no support. But I was behind them anyway, so there's nothing much we could have done. And here, they're slowly starting to push us out back into our base. Um, here I spawn, and I do... For this demo, I have new view models equipped, like, put on, but during the regular game, I don't play view models. I just find it less distracting, and you can focus more on your, like, where exactly you're shooting. I don't know if other people have this, I don't know, tendency, liking. I just don't like view models in general, especially on scout. It's just, as I said, it gets distracting. I know a lot of IM players and invite players, they don't play view models. Whatever, it's... Like, for, but for demo and things like that, I like to play view models. It's a lot less, I don't know, weird? I don't know, just scout with scatter gun. I just don't have it equipped. Back to the gameplay here, I switched to heavy because we needed a heavy on last, and they were pushing in pretty hard, but it was pretty much done at this point. They had an uber, and I don't even think we had a medic up at that time. I chose to focus down that soldier instead of that scout, which is probably a big mistake on my part, but he, he still took a lot of damage and was taken down right after that. But it was no use because our team was wiped, so they took the point. And I, as I said, I decided not to include the rest of these matches because everyone just started throwing at this point. If you look right here, this is a bonus clip, but on the right right there, that demo is using the sticky, la sticky launch and stuff like that and as i said before it's kind of lame when you want to play a lobby and you just want to learn or a pug or whatever you just want to play to learn and to get better and then everyone starts throwing and you're like well this was a waste of my time but this wasn't really it was a lot of fun i i do enjoy playing pugs and lobbies and stuff like that and here i'm running through their sawmill with the boston basher i said this is a little bonus clip this happened on the last round before they rolled us and um I'm running up with the Boston Basher, and I had no idea how they didn't see me. I guess they all ran up, not through Sawmill. And I was able to take down their medic with the Boston Basher, which was pretty funny. Even if everyone was throwing, I guess, they would probably kill me if I was playing more seriously. Anyways, guys, thanks for watching, and I guess I'm going to upload these pugs and scrims and lobbies and stuff like that, if you guys wish. If you have any questions in the comments, well, please go ahead, and I'll try to answer them as soon as I can. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you guys next time.